The city of Palm Springs is kicking off its holiday festivities, starting with a tree lighting at Francis Stevens Park tonight. News Channel 3's Jennifer Franco is live now to look at the holiday festivities waiting for you and your family this weekend. Jennifer, it sounds like a lot of good cheer out there tonight. Oh, yes, indeed, John. It is a magical night here at Francis Stevens Park. And actually, I hear Mayor Holstead saying that they are about to light the tree. So I think we might be able to capture this live. And you can see Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus is there. But again, this tree lighting comes after it was canceled last year. So it's a big deal for this community here at Francis Stevens Park. And if you're unable to make it over to the tree lighting today, or tonight, I should say, the parade is going to be happening. And the Festival of Lights parade happening tomorrow evening in Palm Springs Linda as well. And from I actually Village caught up with a few Kitchen. folks earlier today to get their thoughts on the parade returning after it was shuttered by the pandemic. Jenny and I also have a few tips for you if you plan on going Santa yourself, and you and your family. So, um, so we'll get to those, but you can see a lot of the festivities are happening Santa, right now. We have a ornaments tree. decorating area. We have hot chocolate for the kids. We're ready. So, so they are doing the countdown now and everyone's excited. Two, one, happy holidays! And there you have it, the Palm Springs tree lighting finally back after being shuttered last year. So you can see we have about 100 people. My camera and I, cameraman and I did a head count so far and it got pretty crowded in the last hour. It's about 100 people here celebrating, drinking some hot chocolates. And, you know, more and more people are showing up as we speak. So, like I mentioned earlier, this isn't the only festivity. Tomorrow night's the parade, and I actually caught up with a few folks, like I said. They gave me their thoughts about how they feel the parade returning after it was shuttered. And I also have some tips about what you need to know if you plan on going to the parade with your family, traffic, and whatnot. Come down, enjoy it wherever you are in town. Dale Lilly couldn't be more excited for the return of the Palm Springs Festival of Lights Parade. He works at the Palm Canyon Roadhouse, which offers onlookers a front row seat to the event. With the view from our patio, you can see the alluvial plain all the way through town, which so you literally get a whole glimpse of everything. The parade will begin at 545 Saturday evening on Ramon Road and head northbound on Palm Canyon Drive to Techiva Road. Signs are ready for setup on every corner on the starting intersection. Palm Canyon Drive from Ramon Road to Sunny Dunes Road will be closed from 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. And Palm Canyon Drive from Ramon Road to Vista Chino Road will be closed from around 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. for the parade route. Safety is a top priority for local law enforcement, especially in the light of that tragic attack on a Christmas parade in Wisconsin. We had a meeting with the uh, the police chief and the city manager the other day, and they're going to make sure that nothing like that uh, that nothing like that will. Happen here. The Palm Springs Police Department issued a statement to News Channel 3 that reads in part, we've seen big vehicles used at these types of events and are aware of the possibility of copycat events. It added that the department does not get complacent and will allocate the appropriate staffing and security measures. Meanwhile, participants of the parade are making the final touches on their floats. This is the first year that we put an actual Christmas tree on there, so you can see it behind us and we're going to be decorating it with ornaments. And like I said, if you can't be here at the tree lighting in Palm Springs tonight, tomorrow night is a parade. You can get all the details about when it starts and what streets are going to be closed off on our website, ksq.com. Reporting live in Palm Springs, Jennifer Franco, News Channel 3.